Hello, I'm Matt Lacey, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create localised versions of your Ad Duplex ads. If you've translated your app to support multiple languages, you'll probably want to advertise in those languages too. Our localised ads make that really easy to do. Our research has shown that people click on ads in their own language 20% more than if they're in a second language. With that in mind, and because, as I'll show you, creating a version of an ad in another language is so easy, there's no good reason not to do this. So let's get started. I've got a very simple app here that just displays some text and it's been set to support US English as the default language and it's also been translated into Spanish. The app can be seen here running on machines set to English, Spanish and French. When the language of the device it is running on is set to Spanish, it displays the translated text or defaults back to English. We want it to be that when the ad for this app is displayed on a device that has Spanish as the primary language, the Spanish translation of our ad is shown, and everywhere else it defaults to English. Now let's go to the website so we can set up the ad campaign. So we go to manage.adduplex.com, enter our credentials, and log in. Now we're going to create a cross-promotion uh, ad, and we go up and we click new ad. We need to enter a title for our app, and if it's already been published to the store, we can enter the URL as well. We want to specify it's on Windows 10, and it's going to be for mobile and desktop. Now we need to add an ad unit. Now we can create a banner ad. We're going to set the default language first. So I'm going to type in the text that we're going to use for the ad. I'm typing it in English as that's the same default language as we have in the app. Then we can see it previewed on screen and we'll hit save. If we click on the globe, we can enter another language. I'm going to type Spanish to select Spanish, and we run it for all variations of Spanish, so we'll leave this to all. Now I just need to type in the Spanish translation of my advert. Here I'm using a direct translation, but I could use a different text entirely if I wanted. Click save again, and we've got everything set up. Now if I switch over to the code tab, I'll see instructions for what I need to do to set up the app inside Visual Studio. I've previously installed the SDK, so I don't need to do that now. If I hadn't, we'd need to do that first. Then we switch over to Visual Studio. I'm going to add a reference, and we want the ex universal extension Add Duplex Windows 10. If I switch back to the website, I can see that I need to copy the using statement. And I'm going to paste that in the page where I want to display my ad. Then we need to add the actual control. Copying and pasting this is easier than typing in the ID again. So I'm going to add this to the page. So we can test the advert we've created. I'm going to set the is test property to true. And then I'm just going to align the control so it displays where we want it on the page. Now I'm going to launch the updated version of our app and it's going to run on the emulator that's set to Spanish. We see the app open and after a few seconds our ad will appear. So we can see the ad as I defined it. 
Now let's switch over to an emulator in another language and check that the default works as well. So this is the French emulator. We see the app start up. And after a few seconds, our advert's displayed in the default language of English as we'd expect. And that's all there is to it. The only thing to remember is to remove the is test flag from your app before you ship.